Bubba Q. Bubba Q's winning a whole bunch of competitions. I'll tell you what, he's got it going on. Bubba Q. Now this is Bo Bubba Q's ribs that I always talk about look like candied apples. There it is. And I always look at everybody's box to see if they look like it. Hey, this is Daryl from Barbecue Superstars and Bubba Latimer, Bubba Q, we're at down here in, uh, where are we at? Jasper, Georgia. We're in the Jasper location and, uh, man, I tell you, he's a wonderful guy. We did uh, radio with him. We've got interviews and he wins all the time. And, you know, the one thing that I always come back to with Bubba is I wish I could be more like you. And, boy, talk about Bubba a little bit. He's wonderful, isn't he? Yeah, Bubba's just one of those guys, when you're around him, you know, he's just, he's the center of attention for everybody, and um, everybody seems to like him a lot, he's got a great personality, he's just, you can't say enough about the guy, he's just a wonderful man. I tell you, down there in uh, Winter Haven, he won a two years straight, and they were all sweating it out, he was going to win the third time, because they were going to have to give him the big trophy, and they said they could never replace that big trophy, and uh, he said he felt like he had a bullseye on his back eye, but uh, tell us a little bit about his restaurants and uh, how things work. Uh, well, basically, um, we try to have as much of similarities between our competition food as our restaurant food as possible. Uh, we cook everything fresh every day, um, focus on customer service, and just really trying to give a customer a really good experience when they come in here. Well, I tell you, if Bubba, Q, Bubba Latimer Barbecue's got anything to do with a restaurant, you know it's got to be good. Now, talk about his rubs and his sauces a little bit. Uh, well, we, we have a few different rubs. We have a all-purpose rub, which is what we use for our chicken and our pork and whatnot. Um, you can even use it on fries. I've heard of it being used on pizza and stuff like that. Wow. Uh, we have a, a beef rub, which is what we use on our brisket. Uh, it also can be used on basically any kind of beef, hamburgers, anything like that. Steaks, it's great on steaks. Um, it's, it's just really an all-around good rub. And Actually, a lot of the guys out there on this competition circuit are... They're using our rubs, too. They're buying our rub and turning it in on their boxes. So, I mean, uh, that speaks volumes to me. You know, the professionality of Bubba, too. He's, he maintains control and makes sure that it's good quality stuff, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. He's he's always in control of himself. He he never lets his emotions go that much. He He's always on point. That's that's for sure. I was talking about his rubs, and he was talking about his emotions. Uh, it, yeah, his rubs, are they're unbeatable, really. I mean... Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna. We got us another guy over here. Come on. You want to get in? The, no, you don't want to be on television. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go in here and get in the kitchen and let's see what's get on. What's your name, by the way? My name is Jared Thacker, and I'm the assistant manager here, and I'm also a competition cook for barbecue. Uh, is there any way we can get a sandwich? Yes, sir. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> now, 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 Drew. You got some. So wait a minute. Uh -oh. We're just going to talk about this. Uh -oh. That's barbecue right there, baby. <laughs> Candy the apple place. Looking good. Tasting good. <laughs> 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 And what, what event was that? They won it twice in a row? I think it's 24 hours of barbecue, Seabring, Florida. Oh, wow. 12 hours of Seabring, yeah. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. And then he won this at an event. Yeah, this was Seabring 2008, and he also he, he went back and won it in 2009. Oh, wow. It's actually, it's hand carved uh, with, a, with a chainsaw, just one log. Oh they my just God! That with a chainsaw, so Isn't that amazing how they do that stuff? I can't. They got it now where they're uh, building whole yeah. houses out of ice with chainsaws. Yeah. And then we got we got to our place at uh, about two o'clock this morning. Right <laughs> here. Okay, um, Southern Pride Smoker. This is main, this is what we do our day to day operations on. We've actually got some. We've got a, as you can see right there, that's a bacon wrap pork loin. Yeah, order bacon farm. Wow. Um, we've also got some brisket in there coming around. I see it. Man, barbecue pit boys are all the time talking about the bacon bomb. That's a real bacon bomb. 
Smell good. Beautiful. Man, smell that smell. What kind of wood is that? Uh, we do a mix of hickory and fruit woods mostly. This actually, we actually have some oak in this though. This has uh, red oak, hickory, and some apple wood, I believe. That's a brisket, isn't it? Yes, sir. That's one of our briskets there. Wow, man. Bubba Q. Couple more coming right here. Now, Bubba, I hope you don't mind me crashing into your restaurant. Uh, I got my pickup up there, and uh, we, we just gonna get a little load going. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is this is actually a, a baby Lang smoker. Um, okay, Ben he, Lang. He ben actually, Lang. You know Lang. Um, he, he's been on our radio show and everything. Yeah, he, he's a real good guy. He um, is that the forty-eight or the thirty-six? The thirty-six. Uh, this is he won this for the. Georgia leg of the FBA Triple Crown this past year. Wow. Just won it. Um, right now it's just in polling. You okay, know, you're not just, using it that much, but uh, uh, now the uh, thing about the Lang smoker is it's rolled steel, so this is not a tank that's come out from the side of the road. This is actually a manufactured rolled steel tank. Right. We actually have an older Lang. So Bubba Q was a Lang was a Lang guy. Yeah, this is well. This is what we 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 had been cooking on until we got our Southern Pride. This is our old '84. Okay, this is an '84. Right. Wow, yeah, man, that thing's beautiful. Personally, I'd rather cook on this than anything else. Would you? Just because, yeah, it actually takes some skill and some know-how and some passion to run that. Uh, that Southern Pride. I mean, that's just a it's an easy bake oven to me. So. Right. That's we, a Lang smoker. That is a Lang. We also have a Stumps. Here, this is one of our competitions. This was actually Bubba's original competition smoker, right here. Um, okay. Let me actually pull this down. Um, it's, uh, it's a Stumps Elite Two Two Three, I believe, is the actual code call on it. Um, this this exact smoker has at least twenty five grand champions on it. Twenty five grand champions. Wow. And right now he runs a. Uh, a stumps classic or a stretch i can't i can't recall but either either one we run stumps on the road now uh i tell you there is a huge difference in barbecue restaurants and there's a huge difference in the quality of barbecue at barbecue restaurants and uh you know when you talk about barbecue barbecue versus uh some big chain down the road you're gonna get better barbecue I mean, he's a champion. You you cooking? I mean, yes, sir. This is a competition restaurant. We, we, we strive for the best quality possible. Wow. Uh, you know, a lot of places around here, you'll go and you have to have sauce. It's just it's so dry, and that's one thing we pride ourselves on here. You really don't need the sauce here. It's, it's juicy every every time. Oh know, my so. God, that's the gospel. Royce Royce uh, Royce Patterson, uh, Rolls Royce of ribs. Uh, all the big time cookers. C Dub Rub. That's exactly what they say. So you're part of the main badass brotherhood of barbecue. We okay. do what we can anyway. So. Okay, so what's your name? My name is Jared Thacker. And I, like I said, I'm the assistant manager here at this location. And I'm also a competition cook for Barbecue's competition team. Now, you know, that's so odd. That's what Barbecue says. We do the best we can. <laughs> okay, this is Daryl from Barbecue Superstars at Barbecue. Bubba Lattimore and Jasper. He's got one at Woodstock and one at Jasper. Get up there and eat. You'll get the best barbecue you can eat. Now, Myron Mixes, they had a coleslaw maker uh, just like that. So That's barbecues. actually what we chop our meat in. Oh, y'all chop your meat in it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll just... Yeah. You can focus on her out there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start with this one. Okay. Omar Beach Barbecue Grand Champion. Now, um, could I get a trophy on the side with that plate? <laughs> oh my God! You know he really is a champion. Yeah. Well, this uh, this section right here is actually the majority me. Uh, oh really? Yeah. All these, pretty much all these right here, I got. That's where you cook. Yes, sir, but wow. nothing, nothing compared to his match. Well, I, yeah, I noticed that yours are just a little bit smaller than his. So. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to go back here in the kitchen and uh, see where Bubba Q cooks. Oh, wow. My goodness. Uh, you don't know anybody who might have cooked some butts today, do you? Uh, 
We actually uh, just got some fresh ribs and chicken up too that we just cooked this morning here. Wow, let's see what they look like. Man, you can smell the smoke. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at that. You know, uh, it's no wonder he's a big time champion. Look at that, that's just... Uh, I'll take these two pants to go, thank you. On the house Love, love, cute. Well, let's see now. Can we get a few championships with that? Uh, Bubba may have won um, a few thousand um, championships. And uh, I'd like a great big barbecue sandwich with a little championship on the side right there. He's really top, man. I'll tell you, he can really cook. He's... He looks like a movie star. They need to put him on television. But he's a movie star.